Hello and welcome to another episode of Tall Tales from Telltale, a podcast where we play Telltale games and talk about our decisions that we make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, what are we? We're playing Batman. Batman, the Telltale game series, yep. season one, episode two. Episode two, the Children of Arkham. I love me a good ham, oh, no, especially Arkham. an Arkham. Mm, those those are better than uh. Those not arc hams, right? The flat, just the flat regular hams. Mm-mm. I want, I want a, a ham that can arc if you throw it. Yep, exactly. A pig skin, if you will. Oh, that's a good. Throw the old pig skin. Throw the old arc ham. So the way we've been doing this is that we're gonna go back and kind of talk through the storyline, the decisions I decided to make. Sam uh, has also played this, so he's gonna talk a little bit about his decisions that he decided to make, and then we'll compare it to what everyone else did. Because it's, I find that interesting. So, all right, let's get in. Okie dokie. So this episode starts off uh, where you're, you're basically where your parents died by mm-hmm. the theater, and Alfred's there, and he's like, try to remember stuff. And you're like, oh, I'm trying to remember, and then you get like the ghosts of your parents being like, Falcone did it, and then you're like, okay, and then Alfred's like, forgive me, and you can choose. Uh huh. Yes or no? Mm-hmm. And I chose to forgive him. Mm-hmm. Why did you choose to forgive him, Tyler? So, it, for me, it was one of those that, like, I don't have a lot of friends right now. Only two people in the world know I'm Batman. Mm-hmm. Batman. Uh, and one is Catwoman, who's, I, I don't really know where her allegiances lie at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. And the other one is Alfred, and so I was like, "Well, like, let's do it. Let's let's forgive him." Okay, so this is more of a tactical decision. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And what did you do? Oh, uh, yeah, I forgave Al- Alfred. Why did did you have the feels? Oh yeah, Al- it's Alfred. There, there but was a is bond. it did you, is it the bond because of previous Batman's and what like your your knowledge of Alfred, or was it from the game like that? That Alfred plays a part of it, of course. But I, I thought they did an adequate job. I see. I. I personally felt like it wasn't the best. Um, they've done some really good gripping emotional things, but this one I don't think hit the mark for me as much. Uh, I didn't mm-hmm. feel the the same gripping. Uh, Grips. Like, oh, if I don't forgive him, then whatever. I don't even know what happens if you don't forgive him, but mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just going to forgive him because it makes the most tactical sense, not because I emotionally feel a specific way, I guess. Right. right. So, yeah. Then uh, where does it go from there? Um, and then you go to, uh, talk to Falcone, I believe. In the, in in the prison jail. Yeah, the prison in that little hospital Hospital. room. And you do, you meet Detective Montoya. Uh Uh-huh, she roots for Bruce a little bit. Gordon's upset. Gordon is upset because he's like, why are you allowed to be in here? Mm Mm-hmm. So then, uh... You, and then you go in Falcone's room. And you, at that point, you will encounter your first major decision. Which is if you hurt him or mm-hmm. you help him. Uh-huh. I chose to help him. Yep. And it was simply, a dis- uh, that one was simply a tactical decision. I had to think over my, I just want to hurt him. Mm-hmm. But, like, my thing is, Batman hurts people. Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne helps people. And, right. like, and so I, that, and because helping him is going to get the answers easier, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Um... I also, I gave him the morphine. I think part of it was like, I, it was almost like a, I need to know about my parents. Like what actually happened after you get this big bomb that your parents are, uh. And then bang! Wow. In comes Detective Montoya, mm-hmm. who you find out has been drugged. <laughs> right. Shooting down Falcone. He's she dead. He's dead. Falcone. And, uh, yeah. Yep. Then you find, uh... Well, you go into the interrogation room and find the the needle marks. Oh, that's right. And then you go, uh, discover where Cobblepot is. Sir Cobblepot. Mm, mm -hmm. After that, right? You, like, have to translucate where his... Oh, right. Uh That's not a real word. I just made that up. Uh Uh-huh. And he's at... You find out he's at the the skyline. (laughs) So then you go there as Batman. Uh Mm Mm-hmm. You, uh, getting a little, uh, he's like, hey, you're welcome. And you're like, no, I'm Uh Batman. And then have your first real fight with the blue guy. I cannot remember his name. Yeah. 
Kevin. Is it Kevin? Yep. So then uh, he basically is like, Hill, right? Oh, no, he says, uh, we're going to go get Catwoman lady. Mm-hmm. We're going to kill her because she didn't do what we asked her to. And then, so you're like, oh my gosh, I know what her name is. It's Selena. Yeah. Gotta go save Catwoman. And so you go, you meet her at a bar. Uh Uh-huh. And then you fight some guys. And then you can, you meet the second big choice here. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, Which is choosing, like, it's it's a sexually charged moment. Mm -hmm. It's not really. It's just a, uh, it's a charged moment Mm -hmm. um, that turns into a, you can kiss her or not. Right. Um, after all of the fighting, mm-hmm. and I chose not to. Mm-hmm. And why, why didn't you choose to? Because I'm like all two reasons. One, I'm all like Harvey. He's right. my friend. Mm-hmm. She's dating my friend. I'm not gonna do that to him. Right. But even more so is I'm just not interested in her. Uh huh. Um, I feel like they've done a pretty good job of giving you the option to have that interplay if you want it mm-hmm. between her and you. Mm-hmm. Um, I imagine that makes if you do choose that, that makes the scene later even more challenging. Between, uh, we'll get oh, to that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Um, I chose not to kiss her for those. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm also interested in uh, Vicky Vale. Vicky Vale. Mm-hmm. So that's the other reason. Right, right. What'd you do? I didn't kiss her either. Mainly, I think, oh. I think we talked about this last episode, but I was really a, a big Harvey guy in the, in the friendship between my Batman and Harvey. So like, I can't do that to Harvey, because obviously she might not feel that way, but obviously he seems to have some sort of interest feelings for her. And so I, uh, I decided not to do that. So then uh, on one of these guys that you just beat the heck out of, mm-hmm. uh, you find a cell phone and then you find out that Hill is working with Cobblepot. Yeah. So you go talk to him and mm-hmm. you can choose to do it either as Batman or Bruce Wayne. Yep. And I think is that. And I chose to do it as Bruce Wayne, because again, yep. my same thing is. Oh, like, should we? Uh, I forgot about this. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, go go ahead and read the percentages. The percentages. Earlier. Okay, so seventy uh, percent eased Falcone's pain. So that seems to be just a general the common yeah, yeah decision, and you twenty one percent didn't smooch Catwoman. Oh wow! So we're in the minority there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everyone likes. Everyone likes them. Everyone likes Roonies. Catwoman. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then what about the uh, Batman versus uh, Superman? That's, that's split a little more even. Uh, you and fifty-seven percent chose to visit as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and that again, that was like my my Batman thing is like I want to not be Batman anymore. I just want to live my life and have mm. my friends and uh-huh. just do my thing. Right. So I just, that's what I was going to do. I'm mm-hmm. going to try to do my best to be just Batman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then you go to Mayor Hill's house. Right. Oh, what's the percentages there? Uh, 57%. Oh, you said that already. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so then we go to Mayor Hill's office. Right. And have a little quip out front with the, the, the lady there. Uh-huh. And you go in and you make a mistake and you push the wrong button and you have to restart and hope <laughs> that your thing's saved. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, you basically have to decide whether to stop giving Harvey money. They give you a couple of options uh-huh. in this this whole episode to stop giving him money. Right, right. But basically, it's like, I think an evil Batman playthrough would be interesting. Because mm, mm-hmm. he is the Dark Knight. Yeah. Like, like, no matter a what. total vigilante. So if that means dealing with Hill to, to get information on the Penguin. Yeah. I mean, your dad did it. Screw it. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Whatever it is mm-hmm. to like get her done, mm-hmm. that would be an interesting playthrough yeah. to do. Um, but anyway, so you have um, you have to decide whether to help Hill out by cutting Harvey's funding or giving Harvey money. Mm-hmm. And you and I, I think picked the same option. I don't. I'm assuming you did because you're uh, about helping Harvey. Yeah, it was yeah for the I same also reason. yeah I also picked Bruce Wayne. Now, your your relationship with Harvey is more like a friendship relationship, uh-huh. right? You're like, I want to do whatever I can for my friend. Right. And mine is different. Like, I'm doing whatever I can for Harvey because it, I want to not be Batman, and I think he's the best hope. The best to, hope to clean up Gotham. Which is interesting because we make similar decisions, but uh-huh. not all the same ones. Yeah, and maybe not even for the same reasons. Yeah, but the, which is why this game, I think, is so cool mm-hmm. in these games. Mm-hmm. So, then... Uh, he kind of gives you a tip off. You, you kind of figure out like this debate that he's going to be in with Harvey. Mm-hmm. Something's going to go down. Cobblepot's going right. to funk with it. Uh-huh. 
So then you go there. Yeah. You go to the debate. Mm, no, man. And sh- shit gets cray. Oh, I guess I still Catwoman shows up and helps you. She does. Yep. Uh, you and, infiltrate the. Uh, yeah, the you debate. explain this. You explain this part because this is you've done it more than me, so I think you'll be able to dramatically tell the story. Okay. Yeah. Better. So you find out there's a bunch of bad people in the debate hall. So you and uh, Selena, uh, aka Catwoman, go in and uh, try to infiltrate it. And then the debate gets hijacked by the penguin. Squaw! Squaw! Penguin's out! <laughs> um, shoots the moderator. Favorite character is the moderator. I know. And then he brings out Vicky Vale. I was like, oh, no. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's like, she's going she's gonna to be the new moderator. Mm-hmm. And then he... She, she drugs in, both of them. With the psychoactric drug... Psycho... Whatever. Actic. Psycho drug. Uh-huh. That, like, basically makes them have to... It's like, their uh, inhibition is kind of... So they just say whatever's on their uh-huh, mind. Uh-huh. Now, I think it doesn't matter anymore, because uh, Hill gets killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, I think it'd be interesting for them to have left it continue, because and to see what happens with people with Hill having oh, said, admitted, uh-huh. like, okay, fine, I worked with you, but... Right. And then this new guy comes in that my suspicion is he's Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. Um, which would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Granted. He, mm-hmm. Him and the, he says it's him and the, the, the children of Arkham. Yeah, the children of Arkham. And he's kind of a cool looking spooky guy. And then probably the biggest decision so far well, comes. He also, real quick, before we get sure. into the big decision, is uh, he, break, he shows footage of Thomas Wayne drugging uh, the cobble b- pot, the, like mom. Cobble's Penguin. mom, the mommel pot, the mommel pot, and making her crazy. Uh huh. To get that land, I guess that, that Wayne she Towers had. Yeah. Is built on. Or I don't whatever. think it's that Wayne Towers built on, but it was like he stole. They wanted that land for uh-huh. some reason. I think for. They said it last episode. I don't remember what for. It was when he was talking, and then uh-huh. they wanted it, and he, she didn't want to work with them, and then she like. Yeah. Psycho now. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So and then things get crazy. The police break in. Uh-huh. Fights break loose. You break down. Uh-huh. You fight the blue dude, Kevin. Right. right. You Kevin. shove. You shove a little. Uh, uh, one right. of those warheads. Uh-huh. One of those really right. sour warheads really in his sour mouth. Warheads. And he falls to the ground. He's like, "Oh, it's so sour." Puckered lips. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you have to choose, right, to save Harvey or save Selena. Mm-hmm. And I chose Harvey. Yep. And I imagine yours was the same. I was. So all of our decisions were the same this one. Uh, yeah, I guess that's right. Um, how many, what was the percentage on that? I think it was, I think this was another less one. Yeah, 37.9 saved Harvey over Selena. What about the giving money? I don't think we read the percentage for that one, did we? Giving money? The- oh, sorry, yeah. At 91, continued to fund Harvey. Okay. So, yeah, no, but I, again, I think for the same reasons I've made every decision, this Uh whole thing, I was like, well, and part of me too was hoping like Selena's able to fight a lot better. She's got those gadgets, you Mm -hmm. know, she's, she was beating me up. Like Mm -hmm. she could hopefully make it away. Yeah. Part of my reasoning was she is more capable than at least it seems than Harvey Harvey Dent. Yeah. Yeah. And then she runs away and she gives you like the side eye Mm -hmm. she's like, why did you do that? And then, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. that's like the episode. Yep. And I, I guess I can say like, and you can probably, you probably figure this out, but if you, uh, save, uh, Selena, that's how Harvey gets the, oh, I did not figure that yeah, out. Yeah, That's what you burn half of his face. Oh, whoa. You save Selena. Interesting. We'll have to do an evil playthrough with Batman. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's this episode of Tall Tale with Telltale. Oh, I did have a, sorry, I I came up with a few questions. Sure, sure. End. Where do you like headspace wise? And this may be too nerdy, like too in depth of a question, but like where do you think your Batman is after all this happened? Yeah, well, he's still trying to cope with the whole parent thing, uh-huh. right? Like learning that. That's a big deal for him. Mm-hmm. And now there's all of the, it's, he's not in a good place. Cause like the RP is like, he's just wanting to try to stop being Batman. And now everything's crazy. Uh-huh. Like everything's getting worse and worse and worse. Uh-huh. And more and more bad guys are coming out of the works. And he's probably like, 
I can never stop being Batman. Right. And there's the whole Harvey thing where now Harvey's like kind of being this like, well, I need to kind of step back from you and I might have to say some mean things about Mm -hmm. you. And that makes me, my Batman at least be like, well, maybe is he the right choice? Like he Mm -hmm. has to be this bureaucratic person rather Mm -hmm. than who I thought he originally was, which was a no nonsense kind of guy, just going for the truth, just telling Mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Like you're learning more about this Harvey and what he's willing to to do. Yeah, and it's shown more and more as things go, like Hannah, how crazy he is. He's mm-hmm. like, I need this to be this way. This mm-hmm. has to go this way. Mm-hmm. Like I'm do, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. And that's like, that's that's what Batman does. Mm-hmm. And I don't want a Batman. I want like a real mm-hmm. man of the people, right. man of La Mancha. Right. What do you think is gonna happen in the next episode? I honestly could tell you I have no idea. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, I could tell you my Batman is gonna wanna. It, I mean, I saw the. Next time on. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think Cobblepot's going to die. Yeah. Or it, there's going to be an opportunity to kill him and mm-hmm. get caught. I think he's the first problem that's going to be dealt with because mm-hmm. it seems right now that he's the most pressing problem other uh-huh. than mm-hmm. what I'm going to call as the Scarecrow until right. next turn. Uh-huh. Next episode. Next turn. Uh-huh. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. Um, join us next time for Tall Tales from Telltale.